in the basketball and volleyball interactive you viewed earlier in the lesson, a Venn diagram was used to represent the students and their participation in these two sports. Click the region of the diagram that represents those students who played volleyball and basketball and check your answer. Correct. There were two players who played volleyball and basketball, and they are represented in the intersection of the two sets. The word and is often used in reference to the intersection of sets. Click the region or regions of the diagram that represent those students who played volleyball or basketball. Check your answer. Incorrect. Look for the regions that represent both volleyball or basketball players. Please try again. Click the region or regions of the diagram that represent those students who played volleyball or basketball. Check your answer. Incorrect. Look for the regions that represent both volleyball or basketball players. Please try again. Click the region or regions of the diagram that represent those students who played volleyball or basketball. Check your answer. Incorrect. Look for the regions that represent both volleyball or basketball players. Please try again. Click the region or regions of the diagram that represent those students. Correct. There were 11 players who played volleyball or basketball and they are represented by the union of the two sets. The word or is often used in reference to the union of sets. Click the region of the diagram that represents those students who did not play volleyball or basketball. Check your answer. Correct. There were three players who did not play volleyball or basketball. They are represented in the region outside of the intersecting circles. This region is the complement to the regions representing volleyball and basketball players.